Improved access to sustainable water supply and wastewater management services will now be a reality for residents of Riara, Kiu, Indigwa, Ruaka, Ndenderu, Kiamumbi, Mugumo, Kanda Komu, Riabae, Kanunga, Ndumberi, Kangoya, and Muandus. This area, in terms of population, has expanded very, very rapidly, has not had um, um, any seaward uh, system, and therefore this becomes an important uh, project in terms of its health impact, environmental impact, but also the social impact to the population that is living here. We are targeting 40,000, uh, a population of 40,000 people. In Kiabu, we are estimating to serve about 60,000 people. And the three components of this project are targeting the highly springing up suburb areas. And as the CS has said, we anticipate before February next year, this project will be put into 100% use. Speaking during the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of Kiambu Ruaka Water Supply and Sewerage Project, Water, Sanitation and Irrigation Cabinet Secretary Cecily Kariuki say that the government-funded project is being implemented as part of the ministry's efforts to increase access to water and sanitation in the country. Kariuk is saying the ministry, through its institutions, is implementing immediate interventions to augment water supply to residents of Nairobi following extensive damage on the Sasumua Kabete pipeline that supplies approximately 61 million liters of treated water to the city of Nairobi each day. Following large slides, we had the main supply uh, system or distribution line being displaced. Uh, with huge losses. This uh, supplies 20% of water into Nairobi, but the teams have moved in a very, very difficult terrain, in very, very bad weather, and they have commenced the work to be able to uh, bring uh, normalcy. It is estimated in the coming uh, 10 to 14 days there will be normalcy uh, in the Sasumua system as um, to be able to then also complement the system, uh, the other main system. For Channel 1 News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.